Hi and welcome to yet another episode of Pixels and Plug. Uh, this time we are about to show you how you use SSL on Mac sockets. We will be building a MC4 application that hosts X sockets and runs on a secure transport layer. Let's start by just creating a new MVC4 web application. This will take a while and just choose new project and I will replace it with desktop xsockets.ssl demo is our demo resolution and let's use the basic project template and hit OK. This takes a while because we'll be adding a couple of frameworks as the default. And when it's done, we are going to install XSockets using the get. We have been having some problems with the sound, so I hope it's okay during this demo. Uh, Starting with the MacBook Airs creates the, the strange sound. Yeah, now it's, now it's done, and let's open up the package manager console and install package X sockets. We can follow the progress in the console's output, and it's installing the core of XSockets in the server and it's installing the external libraries for fallback and it's also adding the JavaScript APIs necessary to be able to connect to the service. Uh, here's the route for our fallback controller. Now it's done. Let us enable SSL on our iOS Express by just selecting the, the project and hit F4 and choose Enable SSL and set it to true, you will see that we are going to be able to access our web uh, using SSL on 44.305, which is the URL of the HTTP instance. Uh, now it's done, then we need a custom configuration class for our XSocket server. I will be adding a new folder here called config and I also prepared this demo by creating a custom configuration setting I'm just copying this class and do add new class and I'm pasting the code and let's fix the namespaces and also we can fix the file name it's correct interesting in this configuration loader or custom configuration loader is that we are specifying the WSS scheme and we are about to run on localhost and if you look at the settings we are setting those two properties the certificate subject distinguished name to cn equals localhost and we are querying uh, the store's location of local machine uh, let us take a look at the um, our certificates on this machine. I'm opening MC and let's add a snap pin for certificates. Here it is, and we are about to look at those on my computer. And finish and OK. And this time we will see that we have our certificates in the personal folder here. And if we do right click on this one and do properties, you will see that the friendly name is IS Express Development Certificate. This is the certificate we are about to use. Uh, let's do click on this one and look at the details. We'll find a bunch of fields. Uh, this is the field we are about to, to look uh, closer at. That's the subject, the subject uh, distinguished name, uh, which has a value of localhost, which will give us the following uh, value, CN equals localhost and go back to the MVC application uh, you can see that we are specifying uh, this value in the subject distinguished name uh, 
to be sure that our server is running properly when closing the burger, we can also say that we are using the enable editing continue option on our debugger and now it's <coughs> ready uh, to be used but of course we need a client and our client will be a JavaScript client uh, hosted by a MVC controller named home and let's add a view for our home controller this way and you can see that we have a new view now saying index let's say hello from demo so let's add the JavaScript APIs to our shared layout I'm adding it uh, to uh, our body that says use the script resource client script code here uh, that will be our client equals to yes sorry this way and let's listen for uh, document ready and we, when we are inside the document ready we can create a new instance of our web socket using next socket web socket and specify the URL which is WSS for secure and localhost is the location of our web web socket for the web 2 and generic is, is our controller let us also hook up a subscription for the xsockets.events to uh, open this will apply when we are connected to the server will give us a connection object back and let's display this object in the console by saying connection.c uh, that's what we need to do to connect to our secure WebSocket server uh, this corresponds to the URL specified in the configuration loader so let's save all of those files go back and hit debug and start and it will fire up Chrome and it will give us a connection object in the console uh, you can also see that we are using the network scheme of WSS instead of WS let's create a new client here using the alien and say let us run this under SSL and that's HTTPS localhost 44305 um, HTTPS Also, clients are connected to the same web socket using the secure layer. Uh, let us just add a couple of things to the view to see that we can send the message through the web socket. Let's add a button that says send and make a div tag that will be grabbing our inbound objects. Let's say when we are clicking the button. something sent uh, over the web socket title here and let's say when we click the button let's say publish on the web socket and the topic will be message and the message will be a equals date just send the date and let's say also subscribe to the topic name message and when we receive the message, we will be adding a new paragraph tag where the text is data that a, a is the property of our uh, message uh, that is retrieved by the client and say prepend to the div tag of our page. And let's do a reload of this client and the other client 
both are connected to the web socket. You can also see in the console that we have a new connection. And if we do send, we will see that both clients receives and sends messages, depending on how about it. Okay, uh, that is pretty much the thing uh, we wanted to show. Uh, I hope the sound was okay. Um, see you soon. Goodbye.